Okay, hello there. Welcome again to uh, VB.net tutorials and uh, programming tutorials. As I said before, this set of tutorials is related to uh, is more concerned about ideas, not the language syntax itself. Okay, so in the, la in the last time I talked about, for example, how you can. <coughs> Uh, how you can spot variables, how you can uh, simplify the way you can uh, uh, the way you answer a question or let's say you solve a problem okay uh, this tutorial I'm going to start focusing on arrays and the basic ideas are uh, beh behind working with them and uh, I will not cover all the operations okay but I'm gonna give you an idea he here. Uh, uh, this tutorial is gonna be a simple one, so the important stuff will be kept for later. So right now, uh, there are a number of operations or things that you need to know when working with arrays. First thing, what's the size of the array? What I mean by this is, what's the best dimension of the array? Should I make its size to 10? Should I make it size to 100, to 1000, to a million byte? Well, uh, we're going to see what to do about that. The th second uh, common operation, how to read the array. In other words, if you have some kind of information, this information is available in uh, either uh, on disk or maybe being entered on, uh, from the keyboard. How do you get that information and place it in the array? The other thing is how to write the array, okay, how to display the information. How to search an array, this is also an important thing here, okay. Uh, how to read known number of values into, uh, uh, sorry, how to read unknown number of values into an array. Well, the first one was what, the, what was the size, what is the size of the array. Uh, usually, this is easy to answer. Uh, if you for example want to store 10 values then this means your array size should be 10 what if you don't know what's the size of your array what should you do in that case uh, well uh, there is a way to address such a such a thing okay how how to shift an array how to shift the array left or right uh, okay uh, how to insert an element into an array okay how to delete an element from the array okay this is also important and how to uh, change an element uh, in an array how to sort that array and performing calculations and copying okay uh, these are let's say common operations on arrays and if you understand how to do these uh, I don't think you'll have problems working with arrays. Now, so let's start focusing on the first thing here. Uh, what's the size of the array? Well, basically, uh, you set the size of the array to the total number of values you want to uh, you want to store or remember. Now, let, let's say, for example, here you you have a problem like this. Find uh, average of 10 values okay and the answer for this since we need to to uh, calculate the average for 10 values it means we need to remember 10 values it means we need to create 10 variables it means our array uh, contains 10 elements this means size equal 10 okay now for example uh, let's say total sales for this month okay and assuming that I, I get the sale per day this means I, I know the sales for for each day okay so this month is uh, 31 this means I have 31 values okay which means I need to create in computer memory 31 variable 
and this means the size of the array here is 31. If the month is, uh, let's say, 30, then the size of the array should be 30. Okay. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to find how many, uh, <coughs> let's say, gosh, nothing comes to my mind. Uh, okay. I want to find the uh, the ages of all the people on the bus. Okay, obviously, let me write this age or the uh, ages of all people on bus. Okay, and the bus. Okay, for example, assuming you, there there's some kind of a bus and you want to. So now the size. Now this one depends on the bus, but basically, let's say. The, if the bus has 20 seats, so you assume that you have 20 value, which means you need to create a 20 variable, which means you need to have the size of the array 20. Okay, and uh, let's say another problem uh, you might face is that, for example, uh, you want. Mm, let's say uh, you want to uh, uh, you want to s to to, uh, to find the sum of total uh, spends for for a year and you know how much you paid each month okay or how much you spend each month in that case Total spend uh, per year, okay. And here the size of the array equal twelve because you know how much you paid each month since you have twelve months. So you must enter twelve values, and these twelve values must be stored in twelve variables, which means the size of the array is going to be twelve and so on okay so this is basically how you figure out what is the size of the array okay uh, yeah now um, reading the array okay so th this is the first thing which is size of the array so l let me sum this up it should be something like this figure out how many element or value you are going to process process slash or or want the computer to remember okay so figure out how many values you want to process or you want the computer to process or remember that will be the size of the array okay it's as simple as that okay now reading the array uh, reading the array is very it's very easy use a loop uh, use a loop and a counter okay uh, Okay, and uh, let me say here, use for loop, storing the values in the array one by one. Okay, now the thing about array is that computers usually uh, process the information one at a time. So basically, you are going to deal with one element in the array at the time so basically if, if you want to uh, read 10 values it means you will have to deal with the first element and then deal with the second element and then with the third element and so on okay uh, you are not dealing with the whole array you will deal with one element at a time okay so the, the uh, easiest way is to use the for loop here okay use the for loop um, same technique here uh, when displaying or writing the array it's also use 
for loop displaying the values in the array one by one okay so it should be the same technique okay so I think I will only cover the first three which is the size of the array how to read and write and so on okay so basically I am going to uh, <coughs> I am going to uh, address these questions to show you what I mean or how to implement what I've just wrote here so basically let's come to the first question Fair, find the average of the values of 10 values so basically here I'm gonna say uh, file new project and okay okay so here find the uh, AVG of 10 elements okay identify the input which is uh, 10 values okay so first dimension BLS for values 0 to 9 as integer dimension I as okay so okay for i equals 0 to 9 vls of i equal integer dot parse um, console dot read line okay so this code actually the first one is the size of array is 10 and it is 10 because we said in the question you are going to find the average of 10 values okay this is why it's from 0 to 9 you have 9 elements with the 0 element uh, this is another element uh, it's just its number is 0 okay so total is 10 and this is how you read the information you are gonna loop on each element and read the information here okay and here the info okay maybe you want fr to display friendly message console uh, console dot write enter the I think uh, and I dot to string value okay and uh, if, if we uh, want to we can now do the processing and here the processing is finding find the average okay for finding the average here uh, don't get concerned with how did I do it I will discuss this later in the next tutorial but for now dimension sum as integer equals zero for sorry or I equals 0 to 9 to 9 and sum plus equal a sorry BLS of I okay as soon as I do that sum uh, equals sum divided by 10 maybe I need to change this to double okay now finally I need to identify the output what is the result and the result is is the AVG so basically let me say this dimension AVG okay this is it so console dot right line the result is and AVG okay uh, dot to string and cons console dot read line okay so let's have a look at this here uh, this is where I set the size of the array and basically I said I want to find the average of 10 values okay and because of that it's I already know the size of the array okay uh, now about reading the array as I said 
it's just a simple for loop so this is the for loop this is where i am reading the array here i am providing friendly message so that the end user will not get confused when he see uh, the cursor on the screen and now i will display the result uh, here the result is an average which is a single number i didn't say in the question i want to see the all of uh, all of these numbers so now we have this let's run the code okay so enter the zero uh, value so as you can see here i am entering these okay and the result is 5.8 okay so this is basically how you can uh, identify the size of the array now the total cells of this month uh, can be solved in a very similar technique so basically uh, it will be the same program here you will just set the size to 31 and you might want to change the message okay and also change the size here uh, finding the sum is going to be the, the same uh, this statement will be ignored actually and finally you will display the result so as you can see it's almost the same formula it's very easy very straightforward okay uh, age of all people and the bus okay you want to uh, uh, store and display the age of all people on the bus so also it's a very similar process for all uh, for this one and this one okay um, I hope this will uh, make it easy for you guys to uh, to work with arrays uh, so uh, watch for the uh, next tutorial I'm gonna start explaining uh, the important stuff well it's not that important but for a, 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 a a beginner this will be important um, I'm going to start uh, explaining things about search how to do some kind of search how to uh, know uh, or how to read unknown number of values from the array shifting arrays and stuff like that okay I think I forgot something here which is how to write or display the, the values of the array maybe I I will display the content of the array the same technique is being used so all I am going to do I'm gonna do this I'm gonna copy this code paste it here write uh, the value and here just uh, DLS of I that's it okay right line L I N A right line, okay. So now this will display the ever uh, uh, the average result and the array. The array. The reason I, I am writing this, I'm just showing you how to display the information, just in case you are wondering. And um, okay, so nine, eight. So we have these, and as you can see. This is the uh, the result is or the average is, and then I'm displaying the information of the array. So uh, this is how you deal with arrays. Okay, if you have further questions or suggestions, send them to mkadiceup.com. Uh, also, you might want to send me an email if you have problem with programming. Um, hope you'll find this useful. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.